This is the new sink in my shop. When I built my shop, I plumbed in water line. And the drain, unfortunately, I did not plumb in through the concrete wall when we poured the foundation. So now I have to drill through the concrete. So we're gonna use a two and a half inch pouring bit. And we're gonna drill through the concrete wall behind this cabinet. I've uh, marked out where the drain line will be in the cabinet. We drilled the hole through the wood in the back of the cabinet. And in turn, we put a mark on the concrete. Well, we're going to drill through the wall right here. So we've marked this location. We have a two and a half inch hole saw. This is a wet hole saw, so we're gonna use water. Now, I realize this isn't designed specifically for this type of water application. However, I don't wanna buy and or rent something that is way more expensive than just buying one of these. And I only need this for one hole, so if I ruin it on this one hole, I'm okay with that. These are relatively inexpensive off Amazon. There'll be a link in the description. Um, it is attached with an adapter, also a link in the description, to a concrete drill. This drill has three options. One is a hammer only option. You'd put like a chisel and do flooring work. You have a hammer and drill option, which is currently on. And then you have a drill option, which is what it's just switched to now. So right now, it's only spinning, it's not hammering. This type of diamond core bit is designed to spin only, not hammer. There are types out there that are designed to be used without water and for hammer action, um, they don't make as quite nice of a hole, which is why I decided to go with this one specifically. So we're gonna use water, we're gonna use this bit on spin only, and we're going to drill through this six inch wall of concrete and put a pipe in. So we're gonna get started and see how it goes. When you're starting a bit like this, there is no centering bit on the inside. And you start these by using the edge only. So you come in at an angle and you start grinding at one side until you can get the bit lined up and push where it belongs and then you'll be able to go all the way through. As some of you might notice, this drill bit is not six inches deep. So we're gonna go in about an inch to an inch and a half. And then we're gonna to switch to a standard bit. We're gonna break out that section that's there and we'll continue doing that all the way through the wall. With all that being said, let's get started. Making pretty good progress, pretty happy with that so far. Now that we've gone about an inch and a half, we're gonna throw in our normal bit and see if we can break out that slug of concrete. We're gonna to switch to hammer drill mode. I think I'm in a piece of rebar. I'm drilling right through a piece of rebar. We are about halfway through it. I think we made it through the rebar. All right, so you can see Oh, it's loose. Maybe, yeah, okay. So, 
There's that piece of rebar we drilled through. This was laterally right there, way back in that hole. So we're in about three and a half inches, three inches. So we got another two and a half, three inches to go. But with this piece of rebar out of the way, this hole should go much faster. That is a core. We're making significant progress. In fact, we are six inches. So we're about a half inch from coming through the wall. And I think we are all the way through. I wanted to take a minute and talk about how this concrete coring bit could be more applicable for you specifically. Um, if you're looking into doing something like this for yourself, you probably already own a standard drill or an angle grinder, um, both of which can be used with this coring bit. Um, this coring bit has a 5 8 11 thread on the inside of it, which happens to thread right onto almost all standard angle grinders. So that would work. Downsides here, this is extremely high RPM, and if you're doing this, make sure you have a set extra hands that's pumping water onto the bit as you're drilling. There is no torque limiter in most angle grinders, so you'd want two hands on this at all times in case it bound up and this could potentially fling around and hit you. Um, so in my application, I wasn't going to use an angle grinder because I only had my set of hands. But angle grinder, if you already have one of these, will definitely work. They're even advertised to be used with those. If you're a person that's going down the road of drilling a concrete hole like this yourself, you probably already have a cordless drill. This would also work. When you order this bit on Amazon, there are, you know how it does the, Add, add also to cart section or commonly bought with, there are adapters. This adapter I purchased happens to work with a concrete drill, which is back here, but they sell one that would work with a standard drill. Work the same way, you can put this in low speed. I'd recommend a larger battery, uh, whatever brand you happen to have. And you basically just put that together and spray water on and away you go. Um, nice things about a lot of new drills is they do have e-clutches in them or you could set the clutch mode on the drill itself, save your wrist. Um, a drill with an extra handle would probably be a little more applicable, definitely low speed. So something you may already have, save yourself a little bit of extra money if you don't have a concrete drill. More along those lines, a lot of people probably, if they don't have a quarter drill, they probably have a cord, excuse me, if they don't have a cordless drill, they probably have a quarter drill. This happens to be a hammer drill also, but it has a switch for allow for standard spinning and hammer mode. I don't use it in hammer mode, but you could. Same thing, when you order the bit, you order the adapter, you could use it with this. Um, there's no e-clutch on this type of drill usually. These are usually made for high RPM. You know, in my case, I really abuse this one. If I'm gonna use something where I need to abuse a drill, this is the one I grab. But something you might already have where you could do it with this. And then you get to concrete drills. Now the bit I bought, or the adapter I bought, has the little grooves in it specifically made for concrete drills, so this is the concrete drill adapter. I chose to go this route because I already own this tool. I drill a lot or have a tendency to drill a lot of anchor holes with bits like this, um, or drill into concrete in order to put rebar in to attach new slabs and things. 
Um, in my case, it was a lot easier to use this to knock out the chunks of the core as we were drilling. With all those other applications though, with either angle drill, corded or cordless drill, you wouldn't need to have a bit like this because you could just get a chisel and a hammer and knock the bits out as you go. Technically, you get away with a piece of metal and smash it out of there or even just a small hammer. Um, you could get with a lot of things if you don't have these type of tools. So I just wanted to point out that there are other options for this type of coring bit. In my application, it worked extremely well. I would highly recommend this brand. Definitely check out the link in the description below. This bit, I could, the way it was cutting towards the end, I bet you I'd get another five or six or even seven holes out of this single bit. And we went right through a piece of rebar, which I was really hoping we were gonna miss, but we didn't. It just proved that this works really, really, really well. That hole's about six inches deep um, overall. Very pleased with it. Definitely applicable. Uh, don't be afraid of this. The average person can definitely go do this if you only got to do one or two holes. This is the way to go in my opinion. It's a lot cheaper than going down and renting a tool, uh, having to go get it, bring it back, that type of application. And then you'll have it if you need it. And if you're someone like me, this will come in handy down the road for something, I'm sure. So enough talk about that. Well, this is gonna wrap this one up. We drilled the two and a half inch hole with this coring bit off Amazon. Definitely check out the link in the description. The average person can definitely do this more than likely with tools you already have on hand minus this bit. Um, in my case, this was the cheapest way to go. Overall, very, very pleased with it. And I really hope you guys got out of, a lot out of this and I hope you can go tackle a project like this yourself. So until next time, thanks for watching.